good evening in the previous class we learned about faraday's laws faraday's first law and faraday's second law faraday's first law gave the principle of electromagnetic induction that is whenever there is a change in magnetic flux linking with a coil an emf is induced in it and faraday's second law gives, gives the magnitude of this induced emf that is the magnitude of induced emf is directly proportional to the rate of change of flux linkage and this is another law proposed by lenz which gives the direction of induced emf or current that is this law gives the direction of emf induced from electromagnetic induction and let's go through the statement of lenz law according to lenz's law the induced current the induced current in a circuit or a coil will flow in such a direction so as to oppose so as to oppose the course that produces it that is according to lenz's law the induced current as a result of induced emf and induced current will flow through a closed circuit and this induced current in a circuit will flow in such a direction so as to oppose the cause which producing it here we know the cause which producing the induced current or induced emf is the rate of change of flux linkage or the change in flux so here the current will flow the induced current will flow in such a direction so as to oppose the cause that is so as to oppose this change in flux so the characteristics of induced current or induced emf is such that it will oppose the change in flux or it will try to minimize the change in flux and that is the induced current induced current will set up a magnetic flux flux to oppose the change in magnetic flux that is first law we know that the induced emf or current is as a result of the change in magnetic flux and as per lenz's law the induced current will flow in such a direction so as to oppose the cause which producing it here the cause is the change in magnetic flux therefore the induced current will set up a magnetic flux to oppose the changing magnetic flux that leads to the development of this induced current that is induced current will oppose the cause that cause itself that leads to this generation of this induced current and from this equation we can modify faraday's law as induced emf is equal to minus n into d phi by dt that is induced emf is opposite to d phi by dt that is induced emf and d phi by dt are opposite therefore I use a negative sign it simply represent that the induced emf opposes the changing magnetic flux that causes the induced current or emf and this law is based on the basic law of conservation of energy. Conservation of energy, that is energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It is based on law of conservation of energy. And it's all about Lenz's law. This is a very simple concept. Thank you.